Aha! Greetings, junior scientist. It is I, Plant Man. There seems to be a problem with the other plants. They have gone on strike. What is a strike? Well, it means that they are refusing to do any more work. The problem is, they don't feel that anyone thinks they do anything. They don't feel appreciated. They've asked me to talk to you to help you understand just how important plants are. Quite honestly, plants are the most important part of the food chain. That's because plants are producers. A producer is a living thing that can make its own food. Plants make their food using the energy of the sun. The process is called photosynthesis. Plants are the top producers on Earth. Let's start at the top of the food chain and work our way back to see just how important plants are. Let's start in the ocean. Without a doubt, the great white shark is one of the fiercest predators in the sea. Far fiercer than any plant. We're talking thousands of teeth, jaw muscles that can chomp through steel, a great sense of smell, the ability to sense electric pulses in the water, and more. It uses all of these to hunt. It has to hunt. It is a consumer, so he hunts fish like tuna. Tuna need to survive, so they eat smaller fish like mackerel. Those smaller fish eat animals like krill. Krill are smaller animals. Krill eat smaller life forms like phytoplankton. Phytoplankton are plants. They float near the top of the ocean, so they can absorb the sunlight and make food. If you eliminate the phytoplankton, then the whole food chain breaks apart. Krill can't eat the phytoplankton. Mackerels can't eat the krill. Tuna can't eat mackerel. And great white sharks can't eat tuna. Without phytoplankton, all of those animals would not survive. The food chain on land is no different. What do you think is one of the top predators on land? A lion. Good choice. The king of the jungle. Lions hunt for their food slinking stealthily across the high savanna grass. They hunt various animals, including zebra. Zebra are herbivores feeding on various plants. If there were no plants, the zebra would not survive. In turn, the lion would not survive. Even this simple food chain would fall apart without plants. I know you're not a great white shark or a lion, but you are like them. You are at the top of a food chain. You are the top consumer. If the plants don't produce, Boy, will you suffer. You don't even need to think about what a food chain is to realize how important plants are. You eat plants all the time, including apples, bananas, peas, celery, potatoes, pears, lettuce, oranges, peanuts, and so many more. Animals that you eat, like chicken, eat plants too. Therefore, without plants, you would not survive either. What? What is that? Huh? Huh? Yes? Okay. I've got it. The plants told me that they would stop striking if every once in a while you thanked them for all that they do. Remember, plants produce their own food, and you can't. It's not a bad offer. You might want to really think about taking the offer if you want. You'll take it? Great! Ha. So, the next time you see a plant, take a second and thank it for all of its hard work. Until next time, I am Plant Man! Reminding you to have a science-trivic day. Up, up, and away!